One coin. Bitcoin. One big scam. The story of Ruja Ignatova. On the 30th of May 1980, Veska Ignatova and Plamen Ignatov gave birth to a baby girl in Ruse, Bulgaria. They named her Ruja Plamenova Ignatova. She would grow into a family linked to crime and create a fraudulent empire worth billions. In fact, the FBI estimate the value between $4 billion to $15 billion. We now know her as Ruja Ignatova. She would disappear in October 2017 when she boarded a flight to Greece heading for a one-coin conference. But she never arrived. Did she get on the plane, jump out during the flight? Or did space pirates kidnap her mid-flight? Who knows, but the fraudulent past she forged will corrupt her reputation and anyone associated with her for decades to come. The Early Life of Ruja Ignatova When Ruja was 10 years old, Ruja and her family migrated to Schramberg in the state of Baden-Württemberg, Germany. Ruja, her parents, and her brother all lived above a butcher's shop and her dad worked in a local tire factory. Her parents would push her to learn an earn, and so she did. In 2005, when Ruja was 18 years old, she won entry into the University of Konstanz in Germany and established her PhD in private international law. During her studies, Ruja would marry her husband German lawyer Bjorn Strau. Ruja claims to have studied at Oxford University in London, but other reports state she only gained a place to study, and no public record of her achievements has been established. This would be one of many of Ruja's lies. Once completing her studies and gaining her PhD, Ruja would then go on to work as a management consultant with McKinsey and Co. in Sofia, Bulgaria. From 2008 until 2009 until the office in Sofia closed due to the financial crash. Proving the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. In 2012, Ignatova was convicted of fraud in Germany in connection with a steel company she acquired with her father. After the company claimed bankruptcy, an investigation was brought forward and it was later proved the bankruptcy claim was fraudulent. She was sentenced to a 14-month suspended sentence. This would not stop Ruja. It only fueled her confidence. Green Eggs and Scam Ruja would somehow get involved with a company called Prosper Limited, which is still trading in the UK and acts as a management consultancy firm. In 2013 Bitcoin was launched by John Ng, which was based in Hong Kong. Like many scams like it, the company claimed to be the next Bitcoin and investors flocked to have a piece of the cryptocurrency pie. The company has been described as a Ponzi scheme, a multi-level marketing scam and a pyramid scheme. Ruja would then front the launch of the Cryptorial Investment Trust giving a conference in July 2014. She would claim that investors of Bitcoin would convert Bitcoins into the Cryptorial Investment Trust which they could then transfer into real assets. This would become a massive flop. Shares would drop and Bitcoin would have no value outside of its own network. The company would reinvent itself into Bitcoin Bow. In November 2013, she would she attended a cryptocurrency seminar in Singapore. This would be where she would meet her supposed lover in crime Carl Sebastian Greenwood who would supposedly be the one to suggest multi-level marketing. The affair was never confirmed but with Ruja's vast financial knowledge and experience, it is very hard to believe she did not know what multi-level marketing was. By October 2014 Ruja and other associates, including Carl Sebastian Greenwood, Ronnie Scold, and Nigel Allen deflected from Bitcoin. They would then launch OneCoin a Bulgarian-based company which was originally registered in Dubai. Basically, the twin copy of Bitcoin and they would dub this scheme the Bitcoin killer. 
Ruja would also hire her family members, including her mother Vaska Ignatov and brother Konstantin Ignatova, who would also become her bodyguard. Her father would become involved in other businesses, including a bakery in Nottingham, to which he is still a main shareholder. Ruja would reinvent her image. She shaved her nose got tons of plastic surgery and even paid for an advertisement on Vogue to launch her new persona as the Crypto Queen. OneCoin would incise investors to purchase OneCoin educational packages ranging from around £900 to £104,000. The earlier they invested the more money they could make. Investors were enticed to sign up family members to get in on the OneCoin wonder and they would receive a small cut of their investment to invest in more packages so they could mine even more OneCoins. They claimed they could make 300 millionaires within a year. When investors purchased these packages they would also be assigned tokens and educational seminars on how to become big within OneCoin. The tokens would be used to mine OneCoins. Once the fictional OneCoins were mined they then told investors that they could exchange them on the OneCoin exchange. XCoinX Mimicking exactly Bitcoin's strategy. XCoinX would be a digital marketplace for investors to request wire transfers of OneCoins, but due to restrictions. Transactions were limited. This made investors compete to mine coins. Whilst investors were trying to mine their funds back and receiving no real education in how to do so Ruja and her associates spent the investors' money to purchase property, art, and investments. They travelled around the world living a lavish lifestyle with no expense spared. Ruja was also known for purchasing the very coins she was promising to kill, bitcoins. It is said she has an estimated 230,000 bitcoins in her possession when she went missing. By the 31st of March 2015, OneCoin would drop its YouTube debut titled, Welcome of the Year of Gold Aurum Gold Coin in Gold We Trust. Something new is coming. Something exciting. Something that will change your life. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the next innovation in cryptocurrency. 2015 is the year where it all changes. Welcome to the year of gold. Introducing the Aurum Gold Coin, the first ever hybrid cryptocurrency, backed up by solid gold and mined from the depths of the earth and stored in a gold vault in Dubai. Claiming they would be the next big innovation to cryptocurrency and they would change everything. They introduced their version of Bitcoin the Aurum Gold Coin implying they had their own blockchain network to mine the coins. They told viewers how the Aurum Gold Coin was the first hybrid-backed cryptocurrency backed by solid gold. Solid gold that was stored in a vault in Dubai that investors could own and profit from. Toward the end of the video, they invite people interested to join them in Dubai. Claiming in gold we trust. The video did little to actually explain how they actually mined the coins. In 2015, Ruja made a deal with an Emirati royal. Sheikh Saud bin Faisal al Qasimi. She traded him access to a frozen bank account with 50 million euros in exchange for 230,000 bitcoins. Which, if she kept them, would be worth around 9 billion euro today. On 30 September 2015, a warning was issued Bulgarian Financial Supervision Commission. They warned investors of cryptocurrency about the risk these companies bring and OneCoin was their prime example. OneCoin in return refused any transactions in Bulgaria and ceased all trading but continued in other major countries including the UK, China, Finland, Latvia, Norway, and Sweden. Five months later, on the 10th of February 2016, the British newspaper The Daily Mirror released an exclusive article written by Andrew Penman, which was called Who Wants to Be a OneCoin Millionaire? You don't, here's why hyped up web currency is virtually worthless. Claiming that something just doesn't add up with the promises offered by OneCoin and companies alike which brought a massive spotlight on the OneCoin scam. 
After visiting the first national UK-based OneCoin event, Andrew Penman would write, All fur coat and no knickers despite all the talk of riches. The event felt cheap. Tickets cost £25 yet there was not so much as a complimentary coffee. And anyone expecting some paperwork, yet alone glossy brochures, would have been disappointed. Sometime in 2016, Ruja met Gilbert Armenta who she supposedly also fell in love with. He would become a crisis manager for one coin and one life. Supposedly Gilbert was cooperating with the FBI after being arrested on extortion charges. Supposedly he would give up information leading to Ruja's scheme, but Ruja had bugged her apartment and found out. This would absolutely implode the one coin and one life empire and piece by piece the lies and the deceit would surface. One coin would ignore investors' concerns and on the 1st of March 2016, the website unexpectedly crashed. They told investors they were down for maintenance for two weeks because of the amount of one coin miners that were using the site. They told investors that once the maintenance was completed, more one coins could be mined, but once 15 days had passed and the site became active, nothing changed. Whilst delays were covering up their lies, other countries' financial investigation services started to issue warnings and prosecutions against Ruja, and the investigation would also include one of her armed guards and her brother. China, Finland, Latvia, and Sweden got involved in the worldwide shutdown of OneCoin and Norway's direct selling association even compared the company to a pyramid scheme. By December 2016 the Italian authorities known as the Italian Antitrust Authority got in on the action of calling out OneCoin calling it an illegal pyramid sales system. This would be a disastrous year for OneCoin investors but not for Ruja. She welcomed a baby girl into the world. But her joy would not last. In December 2016, a number of members including Daniel Grenin connected with One Life and One Coin and investors of One Coin were arrested and jailed in China. Assets worth over $30 million were seized in the Chinese raids. Sometime during 2016, the UK police were notified of suspicious and large transactions by the bank HSBC coming to the accounts associated with a UK-based financial advisor named Christopher Hamilton. One coin. Janet Hamilton who was Christopher Hamilton's wife had recently become a company director according to Companies House on 23 May 2016. The fraud squad started to investigate and Christopher Hamilton was arrested at his £1.5 million home in Glamorgan. It is alleged that Ruger's supposed lover, Gilbert Armenta, had approached Hamilton, his deputy Rob MacDonald, and his UK firm Viola Asset Management to launder the OneCoin money. They recovered bankers' drafts between a company called Viola Asset Management and Gilbert Armenta worth up to £30 million believed to have been laundered from OneCoin. By March 2017, things would deep dive and more countries would issue arrests and precautions, including Croatia, and warn the investors they would lose their money going into OneCoin. The Central Bank of Samoa also issued warnings against OneCoin whilst further investigations continued. When the 27th of April 2017 came, Germany's Federal Financial Supervisory Authority issued a cease and desist order to OneCoin Limited in Dubai and One Life Network Limited in Belize. And the Indian investigation continued. The next day on the 28th of April, the Bank of Thailand issued a warning against OneCoin. They branded it an illegal digital currency. By May 2017, after an undercover operation led by the Indian authorities was carried out during a OneCoin seminar for them to recruit more OneCoin investors. 18 people were arrested in Navi Mumbai, India, not before over $10 million was cleared from bank accounts and authorities were unable to recover the funds. On the 29th of May, due to the cease and desist that was issued by German Federal Financial Authority to One Life Network Limited, in Belize, 
The International Financial Services Commission in Belize also issued a cease and desist stating that One Life and One Coin had no authority by their commission to trade in their country. By the 16th of June, Ruja still did not back down and doubled down by showing documents that One Coin were the first government authorized cryptocurrency in Asia. Four days later on the 20th of June, Vietnam's Ministry of Planning and Investment stated these documents used to allege they were the first government-backed cryptocurrency were forged. They were not authorized by the correct staff member, noting the person who signed the order was not in the position to give such authority. They were instantly ordered again to cease and desist. On the 10th of July 2017, Ruja Ignatova was charged by the Indian authorities because she and her associates duped investors with their lies. An international hunt was underway for Ruja, but it was claimed she was already tipped off. Whilst the UK police reveled in boasting about the big raid, they failed to realize that the FBI was also investigating Gilbert Armenta. This made the seizure unlawful and left red face the UK police hand back the money to Gilbert Armenta in August 2017. Ruja would not only fear the authorities, but she was also fearing reproductions from investors according to unconfirmed reports. But Ruja had a head start. It came as a shock when Ruja and her associates with OneCoin would organize a seminar in Athens, Greece for investors on 25 October 2017. As the seminar opened, Ruja was nowhere to be found. Other organizers had texted and called her, but all contact was cut off. She supposedly boarded a Ryanair flight from Sofia, Bulgaria her home country to Athens and supposedly she has been missing since the plane touched down. The seminar would erupt with questions and anger and all that authorities and investors could do was hope she turned up. Ruja had numerous properties, assets, and businesses around the world including a tobacco business she part-owned in Thessaloniki, northern Greece believed to be called Kravex. Some believe she headed to Thessaloniki and then doubled back to Bulgaria within a few days. Others have theorized that she may have been kidnapped and killed by angry investors. On May 3, 2018 OneCoin and OneLife were banned from all foreign exchange transactions within the Central Bank of Samoa. On 17 July 2018 OneCoin's office in Sofia, Bulgaria was raided at the request of the prosecutor's office in Bielefeld, Germany. Working together with Europol, they seized a number of OneCoin servers and other assets were also seized in the raids that lasted for two days. Fourteen other companies connected to OneCoin were also investigated. The City of London police publicly dropped all investigations into OneCoin, leaving UK investors with no justice. They say this is because OneCoin is not operating within the UK. They also couldn't identify any evidence against the OneCoin defendants. Even if members were involved in the UK, they can't prove it enough for the court. They state there are no UK assets available for them to seize for compensation for UK victims. In January 2023 lawyers representing Ruja made a formal claim to a four-bedroom penthouse in Kensington, London. The property would later be put up for sale and swiftly removed, indicating the property might have been sold. Ruja Ignatov is wanted by the FBI and a reward of $10,000 were up for grabs. Follow this channel for more updates about Ruja Ignatova.